Hello, my little munchkins, my little crones, and my little chickens. How are you today, my lovelies? Uh, well, I hope you're doing wonderful. You know, we're just going to get right into it, and we're going to talk about what is it? Real Housewives of Potomac. I still think it's a little boring right now, but you know what? It's only, what, the fifth or fourth yes, episode? Yes, fifth so, episode. Oh, we better do better. Come on, because it, you it know, heated up a little bit at the end. I, I mean, yeah, you give us a little snippet. I, I feel like I'm watching a soap opera. <laughs> you know, like at the end of the old time, you know, the, the young and the restless. And then they give you this little snippet at the end to make you come back. Well, I don't get thirsty. I won't come back. I've been to say I don't like it. They need to keep you engaged through the whole thing. I just don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. But anyway, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yes. Yeah, so we started off the episode with Candace talking to one of her friends and Chris mm -hmm. was there. Mm -hmm. But then Chris. That damn Chris. I got to run it. it go is. ahead. Keep talking. I got to yes. run it. Let me see but what that Chris up to. Chris left the room once the name Giselle came up and he... Did left. you see how immature she's been? <sighs> Both Cut of that, them. baby. Cut that. Let me get a quick read on Chris. And her, because she too mad. She like, I'm mad. She I'm like, real I'm mad. real mad. You want to argue? <laughs> <laughs> I ain't arguing with you. You mad. You say it, big man. You big man. <laughs> so anyway, go ahead. What we talking? Chris, what's going on? Oh, Chris, what's going on at home? What's going on at home, Chris? Go on, tell me what's going on, because I'm going to read Chris real fast. First of all, and Chris, I think Chris is starting something like a new job, something new. Whatever it is, he haven't been doing it for a very long time. He may have been cooking, but I think this is a job. I don't know, but it, whatever it is, he could have been doing it for the last six months. I don't even think he's been at it a year. However, he could have been, but it's something he's new at. It works him. It wears him out. It's tired. Also, I think... Chris is also in this place where he's reflecting. He's reflecting. But Chris is not happy at night. Chris is going through something, guys. He is going through. He's going to be all right, but he is going through with something. And he has a false sense of, I'm okay. He's like, he's trying to present to the world that he's okay. But he knows something is going on in his environment. Another thing, I see Chris leaving. He's walking out, not dealing with it, not wanting to be home something going on. I think that Candace overpowered Chris is up to something that is no good. He's hiding something or he's leaving something. Come on here. Okay? So, I don't want to hold it up with Chris. Let me just do one more. Financially, they're working. They're doing good. It ain't a financial thing, but Chris ain't happy. Something's going on. Chris is hiding something. Chris is hiding something or it's something he don't want Candace to know and Chris got a secret and Chris go and he do the creep creep and it's all gonna come out in the end and now that and I don't like what Candace said when Candace blamed um uh, uh Ashley's husband. Ashley husband Ashley husband ain't had nothing to do with that if you want a husband to pick on pick on her husband honey but if your husband doing something wrong he's yelling out so loud but he can't talk to you because you cuss him out and you talk to him like he's a non-factor oh anyway go ahead i had to do a read well that's chris something about it ain't right with me something ain't right you heard the cards go ahead baby yes. go ahead baby go on go on um so next we in the episode you know i have to throw it in if somebody else i'm gonna go ahead and read the cards read the card go ahead baby finally in the fifth episode mia has admitted well not admitted but found out she does not have cancer but she still has to get the notes removed. Well, and we knew that. I read, read on yeah, that. I read on that. Yeah. I read on that. I read on that. What else? Yeah. And she's saying with all that going on, she has kids to manage and a house to clean and cook and still have to maintain herself. <gasps> what else? Yep. She's like, pray for me. I have too much on my plate. <laughs> I love Mia, but you know what, Mia? I get it. Ain't nothing going on but the rent. But go ahead. Yes. <clears throat> Sorry. Nextly, um, next, we have Giselle. She was had a little spot, um, nails and pedicures with her three children. If it's me, or is it is it me, or is it me, or is it me, or is it you? Because Gazelle seemed a little too frisky. She seemed a little too rambunctious, too 
too in your face, too like this. Ah, she's too, 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 too. Something ain't right with that. Something is not right with that. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I just starting to notice people, her personality, like Robin. Robin, something ain't right. It ain't right. Something ain't right. Those two of them are both out there character. Yes, Gazelle is over the top, but she's overly over the top at this point. She's like in your face, in your face, too much in your face like that. And Robin, she's, I don't know, something ain't right. Robin, Robin, I don't know, maybe their husband and that prenup, I don't know. But I love them both, girls. So go ahead. Yes, but her twins are planning their sweet 16, so that's nice to hear. Mm -hmm. Speaking of Robin. And speaking of sweet 16, there is saying when I grew up, yes, you would get your kiss, your first kiss as uh, at 16 and you will have a sweet 16 party and that's when you can kiss your boyfriend that's the first time that that's what I I grew up knowing that so now some of you may not have heard of that they may sound crazy but I grew up knowing that well, well did it happen or not no but it was like wanting to be kissed at 16 so yeah I can see that mm -hmm. it's, it just, it's like a rite of passage right right, right. so Speaking of Robin, she went to go visit. Who was Robin? Robin. 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 Robin I'm sorry, Robin, I forget. Robin, Robin, Dixon. Robin, Robin, Robin. Oh, Robin Dixon. Okay. okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Robin, you got me thinking about sister wives. You got me talking about that. I was like, Bob, 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 jump on that. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. So Robin visit a, a lawyer to talk about her prenup options, mm -hmm. and she's feeling a little bit of trepidation because. He, Yes, he does know her husband, Robin. Speaking husband. of Robin Dixon, let me run a real quick car read on yes. him. Please let me just do a quick car because if he was a mess, I want to know. Yes, because he... If he was a mess, it's him. Give me a quick cut. Quick cut because cut, cut, cut. he doesn't like the option of it. The person... Robin, he follow your talk, butt. It ain't a money to. thing. It's not a money thing. It's not a money thing. It's protection. It's protection. Follow your gut. Robin. And she wanted to put oh, a fidelity oh, clause in that. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Ooh. Oh, you see it. Mm -hmm. You see it. Oh, she's my taking God. the precaution. Oh, she she's doesn't, taking. I'm gonna just do these. Doesn't want the problems. marriage to end. So what again. it says here, there was a heartbreak that that was, she was really really hurt. They both were hurt, but she was really really hurt. She really 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 took some time out, like some really really time. This thing took her and knocked her out. This is what she has gone through. Yet she was seeking, I guess it was spiritual, as a spiritual thing. It really made her suffer. She suffered. She worked hard, hard to get these coins. She worked hard to get this material gain, to get where she at, not just financially, but remember, she's famous now. Mm -hmm. Remember, she got a name. Remember, she's more than, what's her husband's name? Dixon? Yes. What's his name? His name is, I'm sorry. You, she just is terrible with names. But anyway, her, her husband, whatever his name is. Juan. Juan Dix. I keep saying I don't remember that man. Can't name. Juan Dix. She more than that now. She has grown. So look at her. Financially, she's big. Not just big as far as finances that she's grown, but she became big. And she wants to protect that. And do you blame her? That man hurt her deeply. Well, that's all I can read about that. Go ahead, honey. Yes. Now, I may do this every week. This is my new thing. This is my new thing. If I feel inspired, I'm reading, okay? I just want to see where we were going with the show. Go ahead. Go ahead. Does it, does it throw you off? No. Okay, go on. So, that was the slow part of the episode because next we learned about Wendy wanting to have the girls over at the vineyard to have a burn session. You know how I feel about Wendy. Yes, and also she talked about how she's having problems passing kidney stones. That bad attitude. I just don't understand that. Oh. So Why did you have a meeting, a kumbaya moment, if you're not going to be humble? I don't get it. If you, What is it to just say, you know what? Okay, if you wasn't going to attack me, I wasn't inside of you, that's what I felt. But you know what? You know how you felt. I apologize for accusing you. But she doesn't want to do it. I, I can't. I can't deal with her. Yes, okay. and at the burn session, there was three people that shared their dis discontent with Mia, and that um, with Wendy, and that was Mia, Giselle, and Robin. 
Gazelle said something? No. Gazelle no, Gazelle got into an argument. I think she could have. I don't remember. But but anyway. Yes. Um, she was defending her friend Robin, though. Yeah. yeah. And I know that Karen, at the end, was like she just felt like they were over the top. Yes, I, I don't know what's going on with the That's what I'm saying, bandits. something wrong with them. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Mm -hmm. Yes. But they bring in fever. They bring in fever. You true. know, you, you, you know, it's I for the TV, it. so. Whatever it's for, they're bringing it because it's making us say, why are they, if they out of character, what is, to me, Rob, I mean, Gazelle seemed just over the top, and Robin just seemed too feisty. It's mm -hmm. just... But they doing it though, yeah, they, yes, they doing are. it. Especially when Rob, Robin and got up in somebody's face, Robin and told Robin like, look, I'm fed up here. Robin got up off the table, said, I'm out of here. Well, Robin don't cause ate her food. <laughs> Robin ate her food and got up and said, cause she came there saying I wasn't for it. Yeah, for real, she did. She didn't want it cause she knew it was gonna be like that. But I, I'm. I just think that it's just more easier, and I'm, I'm on Karen's side with that. You could have handled it different, but you know what, Wendy, you come with some mess, and that's the one thing, and this is why I just, I used to like you, but you're just too messy for me. She messy, Wendy. Go ahead. Yes, and it got even more messy at the table. She, yeah, she her name is too Wendy. Wendy, she just blow. But they, but Robin and Wendy had a huge blow up at the table. Yeah, really Milica and water. Yep, I mean, as oil and water. Yes, as Robin said that they are, and Wendy felt. Didn't that, Wendy try to make it to oil and vinegar? Yes. And did she have to argue? No, I said like she said, "Have I know exactly what you're looking for? I didn't call you vinegar. Right. I said water." And then she had a look on her face, just like, oh. No, because everybody kept on saying, yeah. She said, what a six with that. I can't. I can't go there. And, and it was kind of just like a move on, too, because that was like all Robin had to say. And Wendy was just like, probably felt like we didn't resolve nothing. And that's probably why she ended up starting some mess later. Because she probably. felt like you didn't confront it enough. And this is probably the real reason why I'm having this burn session so mm. we can talk. Because I didn't want to. She didn't go about it right. No, because she didn't want to come to Family Fun Day, so... Well, she wasn't invited. No, she wasn't, but she could have let her kids come. But, but no, did. I wouldn't have either, but at the bottom line is, you know what? That's being real. I would rather have somebody be real with me and say, no, I don't like you. I don't want to be around you. And I'm only coming this because you did send me an invitation. I started not to come because I knew it was going to be some BS, but I showed up anyway to be a good sport about it. But you know what, Wendy? You never cease to fail me. And that's how I see Robin. Because that's, that's the one thing, Robin, felt. one thing I feel about Robin overall. I don't know. This is a new thing Robin's doing, but overall, Robin is fair. Say what you want to say about us, she's fair. And she's loyal to you. But go ahead, baby. Yes. Also, Robin even called up Sharice because Wendy was claiming. Just to prove it. But yes. she did hold her, but not yes. in a, as an aggressive. But you could take that as being aggressive. You could. Like, I, I mean, somebody like, was sitting down and literally stood up and approached I just think that's just that. somebody saying, look. No. This is just getting out of hand. Just go on back. You ain't got to get all up in the girl face. Just go. Not like she was going to fight. But you know, sometimes people just get in your face. They'll just go on mm -hmm. and sit there. That's how I took that. I didn't think that she had to really block her and nobody had you know, Gazelle you know, nobody had to was get out. Physically no, restrained. no. Mm -hmm. And she didn't really have to, but she just did it to just say, look, this is going a little too far. But go ahead. Yes. Um, and then there was another blow up because... Candace and Ashley have not fixed their, well, they did fix their beef, but now they have beef again. Because now you with this beef. You don't know, even, you've been down here too long. <laughs> you've been down here. Beef. They got a beef. Okay, go ahead, beef. Um, they got a beef. So, Ashley is confronting Candace yet again about her husband. And Ashley threw up some new evidence, even tossed me a See, didn't I take this? I take my girl Ashley. That's what I'm saying. I love her. I love her. I love her. But you know what? Um, Candace is so... Oh, why does she think that... How she... She... Oh, she just don't see how she is so difficult. 
I'm sorry about that. She just so difficult. She just a little Tasmanian devil to me. She just like that to me. And I'd like to think I'm a little hyper, but she's high strung. She's short with her words and she cuts you out. I mean, she can kiss the blackest part of my Yes. That, who says that out of their mouths? Like, why would a black woman want to talk about the blackest? Okay. <laughs> to a light woman. To a light skin. It's just to me. And you always talk about racism. I found that racist. No, but people wouldn't feel that way. You know, a light skin woman, because it came from a black person. But she didn't say, kiss my black, you know, no. kiss the blackest. Mm -hmm. See, that was racist, and I don't care what was that racist. Yes. And I thought it was racist. It was racist to me. I cringed. You cringed. Yes. And I got sent, ooh, the, the blackest or the darkest part of my... Mm. Think about that. Yeah, for real. <laughs> That's just how much she is upset. That's where you do can come out at. That, yes. That, that's gross. See, I can't even. Just that, and to, and to say that to a woman... Over the fact that she said something about your husband that's possibly true, but you don't want to deal with that. Yes. So you saying it's Chris season. But one thing I know for sure, Ashley ain't coming with something unless she got some evidence. Let's see. Mm -hmm. Yep, that was pretty much it because Candace and Ashley are struggling yet again. I don't think they're struggling. I just feel as though she just telling her what she heard. After she even told her, did you hear the news about um, Mia? Yes. She didn't tell her. And see, that's the one thing that I wonder why didn't Robin, Robin tell her that. See, just making her think it was Gazelle. No, no, no. It's Ashley. It's her. And it's Mia. So you got three people. So now you still want to just single out your girl? See? Now you got to be mad at all of them now. If you want to be that way about it. Honey, don't put nothing past your husband. He's a man. No matter how well your twat is, woman, he is still a man. Okay? A man that you said had a chocolate one. You. Brown, you said. Well, that's... You know, now you said it. Now, why are you saying, you was bragging on it. I understand, I understand. You was bragging on it. Girl, you got issues. Grow up. That's what I got to say. But, but I do like her. I do like her. She is the show. I do like her. She's not the show. But um, I'm so glad that Candace, I mean, that, that my girl Ashley just let her know this is what it feels like. And she's like, I knew it. I knew, you knew what? Take it, girl. Take it. That's Ashley. Take it, girl. Yeah, for real. It's out there. I'm telling you as a friend. So you hear it from me. It's out there, girl, about your man. Take it, girl. We both are two white men. Take it, girl. Did, oh, did you say it? Did you say it? We both are two white men. Take it, girl. A dark skinned chick and a light skinned chick married to white men. Oh, mm -hmm. Ashley did it. So that's my girl. Don't underestimate the Ashley. She's very, very intelligent. Yes. Well, that was the end of the well, episode. Anyway, I enjoyed that. As you see, when it came down to the end, I loved it. Um, and let me say one thing. I did feel sorry for Karen when she was hopping. I don't think that she was faking it. I think that woman said, Jesus. <laughs> When I saw that woman with her arms up, that was real. I, God knows, take care of yourself, Karen. Really, really, really. You shouldn't have hopped in that. You should have, you should have known that your heart couldn't take that. Girl, you should have known. Well, anyway, with that being said, I so enjoyed this. Thank you, my lovelies. Mm. Child, again, subscribe. Subscribe, thumbs up. And please... Leave your comments below. Come on and join us. We still got several more episodes to go. Boost down numbers. We really trying to get to the 500 by Christmas. At least that. So anyway, slow but sure. That's for sure. So thank you so much for listening. Again, subscribe. Please thumbs up us. Well, that's all, right? Did you yes. have anything else to say? No. Nope, okay. Is it. Well, this is the Brown Round. We'll see you at the end of the week. Ciao.